you are someone who loves to know exactly how the mind works. And you're just really fascinated um, with humans and psychology, even neuroscience and all the things that have to do with the mind. That's why you studied hypnosis. That's why you're into coaching as well, because you love helping clients to be more aware of themselves and help them to use their minds uh, for them so that their minds work for them instead of against them. And you do this for yourself too. But the thing is, it is so easy to fall into that shiny object syndrome for those healing modalities and those hypnosis type trainings, right? I know, I know, I used to be one of them. The first, um, the first year and a half of my hypnosis career um there i really dabbed into so many modalities from the traditional hypnosis that i was trained in to nlp to eft uh, to other subconscious rewiring techniques um and the list was so long with regards to what i really wanted to study and so today um i'm going to talk to you about this because this is a real thing right um as entrepreneurs, I know that you are a lifelong learner, so it's definitely always good to perfect your craft. But uh, my perspective has really shifted, and I want to share this perspective shift with you so that you don't no longer fall into those shiny objects. Because as you know, certifications aren't what's going to help you help your clients. It's really your experience with them. And your competency grows more the more you practice one thing. I know, I know. Bruce Lee said it best, right? He, don't quote me on this, but he said something along the lines of, I do not fear someone who has learned 10,000 kicks. I fear someone who has learned one kick 10,000 times. And so that is really true. Mas that is what true mastery really is, right? And I know that this is, um, this is a bit difficult to swallow, but truth of the matter is, if we stick to doing one thing, our own modality, and doing it many times, that is really when we become more of an ex of an expert regarding this. And this was difficult for, for me to swallow also with a tradition, mo traditional modality that I was trained in because I knew subconsciously that I did not want to be an expert on it because it was just so fucking exhausting. <laughs> doing the traditional things of reading off the scripts, reading off the cue cards, the uh, two and a half hour sessions were way too long. It was not a scalable business model. And so I wanted to have a method that was really quick. Um, and even e although EFT is also very quick, um, it's one of these things where um, you do need to be really quite honest with yourself when you're doing the uh, EFT prompts on yourself because if you don't then it really doesn't do anything right kind of same with any healing modality there has to be some honesty with regards to what you want to see in the mirror not that's a story for a different video but the truth of the matter is when you allow yourself to just you do and get better at one particular thing your client results are going to be faster and as well, you are going to be more confident in your ability to deliver results because it's just something that you've done over and over and over again, that it has become second nature. And this is exactly what happened to me when I committed to just using conversational hypnosis uh, with all of my clients. Once I learned the method and I was like, what? No scripts, no prep, no forced regressions that could potentially re-traumatize re my clients, no more recording the recordings. Yes, even better results. Fuck yes, even better. So when you find a modality that works for you, stick to that one thing. Try it for a few months. You don't have to be married to it. But the truth of the matter is, the more you get, to the more you stick to one thing, the better it is. The better it is, the better you get at it, the better your client's results are, which is what truly matters, right? And obviously more confidence for you because you are able to do that same thing over and over. And truth of the matter is, as well, one of the reasons as to why I fell into the shiny objects because um, it really like all the modalities that I was trained in, there was something missing within them. And that missing puzzle piece was answered with advanced conversational hypnosis because all the, the methods that I used had to do with using techniques um, versus conversational hypnosis is mostly 
for it's all based on principles. So when you work with principles, you have unlimited techniques. When you when you learn techniques, you just have tools. Whereas conversational hypnosis or ACH is the whole toolbox that leads to the techniques and the tools that um, most people um, go to at the beginning, especially that was me, right? And so when I found the toolbox, there was no need for the shiny object syndrome. I really didn't need to do anything else. Um, I have not learned any other modality for the past almost two years now because of it. And not only has that saved me money, my Clients got better results. I am, it's becoming more fun because it has become an art, art form. Training other people to do it has become more effective because I have just have been doing the same thing for the past year and a half. And I've immersed myself into this world, which just is not just good for my clients, but also my students and my students' clients, which is a big ripple impact. So expand your thinking in this way. Stick to one thing, like Bruce Lee said, because you can be a very unstoppable hypnotist and coach if you just decide to commit.